Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP solution series. And now guys, in this video, we are going to learn about how to fetch the data in select option. So select option means drop down list with the search box in PHP. Okay, so we are going to use a select to plugin for this drop down list guys. So this is the main point. We are going to use this select to. So guys, let's get started. So let's move to our editor. So just create one file guys over here with the name select with search and just execute that done now guys for user interface i'm going to use bootstrap so let's go to get bootstrap.com and move to the documentation so let's copy the structure guys over here starter template let's take this copy and just paste that all set let's remove the commented codes and now guys we are on this output so first let's begin with designing container row card header h4 tag and now inside this card body so guys i want to just divide in a row so let's use row column md3 and inside column md6 i want the select option where you can give a class named as form hyphen control margin bottom three and with the option guys so let's mention the option okay so here will be the value all set and now guys let's see the output for this let's refresh cool so we are getting the output guys now over here so inside the select box we have to fetch the data so guys for that data so let's go to our database over here so guys i have created one simple table called hob list so which is your hobby list where i have inserted four records guys so we will be fetching this data into our drop down or select option list guys so let's get back and yep so let me just define one label over here so this will be a hobby list hobbies list where we will tell now start with php open and php close create a variable with database connection where mysqli underscore connect function and now inside this first will be a host so that is localhost next is a root and the password and your database so my database name is guys over here you can see it's php tutorials okay so let's copy this and paste dollar query is equal to you have to give select star from where the table name so my table name here you can find hob list let's paste that and now guys let's run this query dollar query run is equal to with the help of mysqli underscore query function where you will get your database connection and then your query all set let's use if condition where you will tell mysqli number of rows function is greater than zero so what is greater than zero like any data is there means you will show over here else you are going to echo let's divide that php and let's control c and paste here you can tell no record found this condition come in a very rare case so if you want to just show you can just show for your understanding okay so now guys if the condition is true you are going to loop that so guys let's use for each loop to loop the data where your dollar query run that is your result as dollar row okay so this row will throw your datas 
so let's divide php open and close and now let's control x and paste yep now guys you need to take this row and php open is equal to close where dollar row of your field name so my field name you can see that is name okay type that database name and i want to store its id so let's copy this and paste that in this value and take as id guys so just take id which will take all this ids so now let's refresh cool so we are getting our all the lists over here whatever present inside this database perfect so now guys we are going to integrate this select to plugin so guys main let's go to select2.org website and you can move on installation part okay so here is the cdn link guys you can either use this links or else you need to install it so we will be using link let's copy this let's move so before this title i'll paste it this is the script let's take it below after the bootstrap link guys i have just pasted that so now let's get back and now let's move to basic usage so you will understand how to use this as simple guys you can see that it is a default one where i don't want in this method you can get this search option okay so if you want you can add like this or else if you want multiple you can take multiple also so you can see that multiple select boxes right so you can just select like this let's integrate this okay so we'll make a video on this in next video about how to insert multiple data yep let's use this class so we are going to use this class with the name js example basic let's go to the select option where you'll pass this example okay so this is the class we have defined and now this is the script let's copy and let's after this your select to cd and link you have to paste in a script tag let's paste that so guys the name whatever you have given here same name should be available in your js okay i mean select option that's it so let's save and let's move refresh okay so not it let's refresh once again so there is some mistake i think let's inspect and see guys okay jquery is not defined so guys for this select to requires a jquery so you can just move and type jquery cdn link where you need to move on this code.jquery.com let's take this minified link and just copy this get back and just paste that let's remove this we don't require all set and now guys you'll be able to see the output let's refresh cool so you can see guys you can search the data and you can select that particular data we want to know how to add the multiple select option okay so it's very simple here you can see that multiple okay so let's take this multiple copy and paste that so where is our select box yep okay refresh so you can select in this format perfect guys so we have got this let's unselect cricket and basketball so guys this is how we use the multiple select and normal select options guys so guys now in this video that's it let's continue in next video guys how do we store this data into our database using multiple select option okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share